Did I win the league? No, we have to try and do that today, actually. We have six matches left. One of them is against Mets. We are a point ahead of Mets. We also have a match in hand. So if we can win this one, then we're we're more comfortable. But this is actually a very tight league race. I hope this isn't nervous. Like, I hope that we aren't about to have a nervous run-in at the end of the season. I'm going to go with Jacques Ecomier. That's the best team we can get together. Stefan is the starting goalkeeper because we've just scrambled our goalkeeping department together. Uh, Ayman Bututau. Yeah, whatever his name is, you gotta just look for the guy with the Scrabble board on the back of his jersey. You gotta let you, you gotta let that guy drop. And now we uh, took over at Saint Etienne because they're paying us over six hundred thousand dollars a year to manage this team and get them back up. Yo, Alvaro! Oh, Branco! Oh, Fcon. Well, we're uh, third time's a charm. Yes. Fourth time's a charm. Let's keep crossing it in there. Or not. Or yes. Branko van den Bowman. Shelled her up. Goal! That was on. That was on. He was on. No shot. He made that pass. He was off, but that was... Almost unbelievably disgusting for Max Cruz. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Thanks for the prime. That is a really nice save by Zach Steffen because he caught all of that. Oh, Branko Vanden Bauman. Shelled her up. Shelly. I don't deserve it. We don't deserve the 2-0 lead. What is happening here? Ecomier. Nice, Branco. Oh, my goodness. Why are you shooting with your left? Wow. Let's go, baby. Fernie, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you for seeing Jam and Rich Steel. Thank you for the 16 months. We just spent $10 of Jeff Bezos money, which is awesome. Thanks for supporting the stream. No yacht for Jeffy B. Not today. Not on my watch. Yeah, that was a that was I wouldn't say that was a shaky 2-0 win. But all that really matters at this point in the season is it is a 2-0 win. And five matches left. We are four points clear at the top of the league. I don't have Diallo or Fcon. I need one of them. I'm gonna have to drop bad boy for Elaine Diallo. I don't love my bench today, so hopefully we get it right the first time. <laughs> Um, you know, like summer break, obviously. That was basically it, though. Oh, nice pass, Alvaro. Oh, what a dime. Shelly. Ecomier. Alvaro. Nice save. That was really well worked, though. Love that from us. Which I thought was... Like, if you ever needed a quote to just inspire you to take action, that quote always, that quote always did it for me. Oh, a die. Don't punish me, man. He was on, wasn't he? This is not Sides game. Oh, but he's doing it well. Oh, but he did it so well. Thank you so much for supporting the stream, dude. Oh, Kyo! No! That guy's tired, Diallo. I know you can take him. Their left back is exhausted. You've got to be able to take him, Diallo. Branco. Oh, what a pass! Rodier! What a bench appearance from Maxime Rodier. The Rabona assist. Branco gives him a one touch lofted ball, chests it perfectly. Wow. Casual Screamer, thank you for the prime. Thank you for the eight months. Oh, are there more than 200 national teams? That's more than there are countries. Uh, yes. Goal! Game, set, match. Evan Gasson. Teddy, 
Thank you, dude, for supporting the stream for 35 months. Anthony, Anthony to score one goal in the next 35 months. Hammer that bet. So, Cape Verde will be playing Morocco or South Africa. Not the easiest draw, you know. Coming from behind at home. We lose that. We still have a match against Mets. So, like, if we lose that, Mets wins. We're only a point ahead of them with four matches to go, including a massive six-pointer against the team next to us. We flip that. We have a seven-point advantage with them having a match in hand. They just lost. Like, that. this one day just flipped the whole title race. Now it's ours to lose, dude. Now it is literally ours to lose. If we had lost and they had won, it'd be a one-point race. Now it's a seven-point race. That's incredible. They just lost. Wow. GG's, dude. We just got a win away against Pal. Two more wins in our final four matches, and the league is ours. Would like to have Bad Boy on the bench, but he just doesn't fit on the bench here. We are going to go full first team, and then we'll just figure out who's available for the next match against Mets, but I think winning this match is just more important. We, we you know, if we, because the issue is if we lose this match, there's a lot more pressure on the Mets match. You know what I mean? If we lose this match, then the Mets match has a lot more pressure. This is a way against the worst team in the league. If we play our full starting lineup and get three points here, Mets has to be perfect, including beating us in that next match. Congratulations to the smallest nation in AFCON, just 650,000 people in Cape Verde. And they're all going up in the club tonight. Goal! Oh, sweet. No way, dude. No. If we'd been able to lay that off to like Vandenbaum and we would have been in a really good spot. Loving the way Lorenzo Sage is playing now. I call me A. Oh, it's a dime. It's a dime right over the. Cool, cool, cool. We're fine. We are so okay. We are so okay. Uh, all right, guess all, maybe, maybe not. Well, I want to see is how that guy was able to drift into that spot. Like, what overlap are they sending? We've got Ramsey, Branko, Rual. We've got why is Mikif? What? What? What the hell? Uh, okay, so it's a run through that drags Mikafe out, and so this is literally just their right wing because Mikafe just got dragged out, and he's keeping him on side for this play. All right, not doing anything great so far. <clears throat> oh, please. Oh, please. It was to himself. I don't know. You know, can't believe I didn't see that one coming. Zane. Oh, my goodness. Well. Thank goodness we did well enough earlier in the season that we can stomach that and hopefully still win the league. Because that is a brutal loss on the road against the bottom team in the league. That is a brutal loss on the road against the worst team in the league who desperately needed it to try and save their season. Um, they, you know, they also injured two of our players, which I've got some choice words about that, but they've knocked out Pedro Bravo and Sedu Torre from the match we have coming up against Mets. If we beat Mets, we are seven points clear with two matches left. So we can we can still win the league today. Why are you setting the initial budgets? Did we guarantee promotion or something? Uh, yeah, we did. The results last week guaranteed promotion. So they've given us a wage budget of 75 and a half and a transfer budget of 18 million. Okay, fair. Uh, thank you. So we we've gained promotion. Nice, chat. Nice. Nice. 
No, I mean, my goal isn't... My goal wasn't that. Like, it was pretty clear that we were going to get promoted. You know, my goal wasn't promotion. My goal is to win the league. My goal is to win the trophy. So, hopefully that takes some of the pressure off the players now that we know we're going back up to league on. We're very happy about that. But our goal is to win the trophy. Our goal is to bring home a championship at the end of the season. Um, yeah, but that's... You know, we've, I'm not going to get fired. It's got the quality. Loves a big match. Luca Dane over Jacques Ecomier. I, you know, sometimes when you got to rotate like this, it can actually re uh, it can rejuvenate your team. They have the explosive Nestori here in Kunda, which is going to be a problem for our boy out there, Luca Dean. But we win, the league is ours. We lose, we have a one point lead into the final two matches. We are guaranteed automatic promotion now. We are going back to legal to play against the PSGs of the world. We'll be crowned champions if we win the league today. Go make your dreams a reality, and let's pull this team back up. All right, bad boy. Fcon. Bad boy. I mean, ref. Do I didn't know he was actually going to call it? We don't have our normal guy, Branko, but we do have Fcon Bakiralu. Nice. By Lelamilla, bad boy. Great play. Gesson. Evan Gesson. Oh, he got it there. That was a weird angle. Maxime Rodier taking him for pace. Gesson! <laughs> Love the hustle from Gesson there. He's getting back in passing lanes. Okay, Barcelona. Chill out. Nice work from De <laughs> At least make them earn it, dude. What are you doing? Like it, love it, I love it! Oh. It's what he does! It's Lala Mala bad boy in the big moments! The teenage sensation from South Africa! The saint of football manager! It's Lala Mala bad boy again! with the patience, the composure, and the finish. Maxime Rodier, the teenager from the academy. He's in the corner. Rodier up towards Ruol. It falls for Fcon. The only player that stuck it down after relegation. It's Gasol, he's offside. Just a brief moment of exuberance. But the pressure is on Mets now. They had the win they needed. A draw's not good for them, but a goal from St. Etienne wins St. Etienne the league. Oh, and it's Shakria! Well, we just spice things up a little bit. That's for sure. We shipped him that game, dude. Stefan played his worst game of the year. We absolutely shipped him that game. They created, uh, you know, they created one really nice goal, but the other two goals, we just absolutely shipped them. We 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 handed it to him. Plaza, thank you for the twenty-six months, dude. It's gonna be an anxious last two matches. Lost on XG. I mean, like, yeah, we lost on XG, but that's because they had to tap it into an empty net, dude. You're like, did you see that giant P 
penalty sized uh yeah uh, Stefan um should have should have caught it but he lost track of the ball and deflected it into the path of a, a guy who was standing in front of an empty net so that's where their xg came from we dominated the match we um didn't do a good job of creating obvious goal scoring chances but yeah, that's uh, we've used we've used up our leeway now so uh evan gets on was a twisted knee so he's out for i think the next match oh no he's not we've got 11 days okay glorious get at the reset button two matches win them both we're uh league champion all right i'll roll i'll roll the team meeting I just did it quickly because I was so nervous that if that went wrong, we might have just lost the league title there in the dressing room. Uh, but we kind of nailed it. But we kind of nailed it. We're back up to excellent locker room atmosphere. It dipped a little bit there, as you saw. Oh. <laughs> win two matches, win the league. We could win it in this match. Away against mid-table, Auger. They are safe. They're playing with house money, and we're playing for everything. So... All right, are we crossing this or are we shooting this? As long as it works, I don't care. Well, let's go. I right, Senegal has to be the favorite for that match, but they're definitely sitting there like you're playing with fire a bit, right? Because Ivory Coast has the ability to ruin your day if they can put it together. But they don't even have a coach. Ivory Coast fired its coach during the tournament. It's got to be Senegal. Oh, good run. Vanden Bowman. Branko. Oh, nice play by Branko there. Slick pass. Bravo. We need one more goal. We're staying just as aggressive. We need one more goal. Bad boy. Ah, uh, that's all right. That's ours. Martin. Martin. Oh, oh my God. How do you miss that? Nice. Run with it. Run with it, bad boy. Make the play. Make the play. Yes. Ramsey. What a weird turn. We work with that. No, he's off. Just didn't do enough. I, I don't even know where we did. We didn't do enough. We got to get lucky on the last day now. It's not even mauled. I'm in shock. I'm in shock, dude. I'm legitimately in shock. We've been the better team in all three games, and we have one point from our last three games. Like, I'm just in shock at this point. I uh, Like, honestly, straight up, dude, I'm just in shock. Like, it, it's brutal. I don't know what the odds were, but the way it's the way it's come back on us, it's just really unfortunate. Yeah, great time. That's probably the time that I would like to celebrate finishing our Continental A license the least. Hopefully they fund a new one for us. Oh, man. Yeah, we still have a chance. Uh, we need Mets to not win on the final day, and we are on the road against the fourth team in the league. Um, I, honestly, though, it's not like we're playing particularly poorly. We just need those decisive moments that determine matches. We just need to be better in those moments. I want a Diallo up on the bench. I want Rodier on the bench. I want Bad Boy on the bench. FCon's not really influenced a game off the bench this year. Um, in the same way those guys have. So that's what we want to we wanna do. They've got two wing backs that they like to really get involved. So we to make sure that we meet both of those guys at the point of attack. We've got Lorenzo Sage dropping deeper. He's going to get the start, the Mozambican kid that we found in the Mozambique League. 
He's been the best of the three attacking midfielders. Branko, look at the wing. Ah, uh, Mika Fey, Lorenzo. He's got that 18 first touch. Always receives it perfectly. Ramsey. Oh, look at Calvin. It's bad from Sage. That's just real bad from Sage. That's our ball, though. Shelter up playing some defense today. Shelley. Where's Gasson? Branko. It's Lorenzo Sage. 30 minutes. Laval and Metz is level at nil. We are level with Sochal. We score one goal. We're top of the league right now as it stands. And we have a corner. Nice play by Mika Faye, but he just fouled him. That was a foul. All right, Stefan, I'm making those changes regardless of what happens. If you're wondering why I'm doing that now, we're making those changes regardless of what happens. If you go down, you go down swinging, but. Oh, he almost had it, dude. He almost had that. There you go. Hit a ball. Hit a ball. Good. Diallo. There you go. Ecomier. Oh, you just got to get it in there. Oh, he did it. It's Diallo, and it's on. Oh, my goodness. What a play by bad boy. What a header by Lorenzo Sage. And they're off for everything. Rodriguez. Hit the ball. Oh, what a recovery by Mamadou Zane. Branko, oh, it's a terrible giveaway. I, I don't blame Rual for taking a chance in that. The numbers are terrible. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Branko, bad giveaway, brother. That's going to haunt me for a very long time. First trophy list season of my managerial career. First trophy list season of my managerial career here at St. Etienne, but we did go up. We have been promoted back to Ligue 1, but we did not win the league. We just... I mean, we really, we, we, we had it. If we played the way we did, like, you look at the schedule, dude. If we played the way we did for, you know, most of the year, just at any point in the final four matches, like we would have, they would have been fine. I mean, we lost away against the worst team in the league and then couldn't beat us there. Couldn't beat so lost in the last second of Mets. Like it, it was just, it all happened. And you only, you only get one shot at it, so it's only it's all only going to happen in one you know one way, out of the infinite possibilities. I uh, Mbabu is another guy that we're going to look to move, so we're going to approach the transfer window like we are going to be here another year. We're going to be pretty proactive with it. His contract runs out at the end of this year. We're just going to let uh, him go. So we might come into some really good money. Uh, but the signing of Luis Torres makes a ton of sense. Very smart, shifty, uh, very dangerous, ball-delivering, uh, opposition-opening, good mindset player. Uh, for $6.5 million, with another $2 million after he plays 50 league games for St. Etienne. Uh, the deal is done. Luis Torres.